Hey, what's up? This is Alex Becker, CEO of Hyrus. Welcome back to the Hyrus Growth Course. I'm gonna focus on saving in this section, savings in the next few videos. What do I mean by that? Let's imagine you're spending $1,000 a day to do $2,000 a day in sales from your ads. Well, in this section, I'm gonna show you to lower it to $750 a day to still do $2,000 a day in sales, thus dramatically increasing your ad ROI. This is actually the easiest thing to do in Hyrus because most of the time, ad managers, they misattribute sales and they over-report. They tell you they're making more sales than they actually are. When this happens, you invest in ads that aren't actually profitable, thus you lose money. You stop doing that, instant 10 to 15% increase, if, if that. That's like the lowest possible increase that we see. It happens overnight. A lot of times people can save a lot more money than that. On top of that, when you stop guessing on your ads, well, if you're guessing, you're being inefficient. And if you're being inefficient, you're wasting money. You stop guessing, you use correct attribution. You're going to stop guessing on ads and wasting that extra 5, 10% of your business account. And the result is an easy 10 to 20%. If that, that's the lowest possible increase in ROI from your ads. So in this first video, I'm gonna show you the basics of this, how this works, kind of the basic theory behind it. And then again, we're gonna hop into different business models and what's usually gonna crop up in these types of businesses and then get into some advanced stuff, just like in the last section. So let's begin on some basics of how to save money. This is very important because if you just do this, you're gonna get 80% of the results. So let's hop into it. Okay guys, so let's talk about savings. So there are gonna be three ways that you're going to lose money with your ads. And this applies to 90% of businesses. If you're running an info marketing funnel, a typical sales funnel, most e-commerce stores, any webinar funnel, something, high it, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna see these same three loss situations across your entire business. Though below this video, I do have videos on call funnels and e-commerce businesses in particular, because they do have a few outliers that we consistently see. There's gonna be three places. One, it's going to be over attribution. Two is gonna be guessing. Three is going to be crisscrossing, okay? Crisscrossing attribution. So let's start from the top. If you can knock out these three things, you're going to see a savings in your ads. So the first thing you're gonna see is over attribution, okay? So what you're gonna see a lot of times, especially in Facebook these days, post iOS, is over attribution of sales. So you can see right here, um, this, this is really dangerous right here. You can see this ad campaign right here. It costs uh, this example account right here, $3,821. You can see Facebook reported $4,233. The revenue right here, uh, you can see right here when we set up all the columns, uh, the revenue that was actually caught in Hyros, the correct revenue was 3,900. Now this is a little bit small. This is a small discrepancy right here, but you can see this ad actually lost money where Facebook reported that it made money. Now, don't focus so much on the discrepancy right now in this example. What you need to focus on is that Facebook reported this profitable when it was not profitable. You can quickly see if an ad campaign is profitable or not by just looking at the reported versus revenue. You can see this over attribution right away. I can see it in all these ones right here. So if I'm looking at the green right here in reported versus revenue, uh, this is this is ad revenue or this is reporting where we caught way more in Facebook. If I'm looking at it and it's red, this means Facebook is over reporting, which is far more dangerous than under reporting because what's gonna happen is you invest in a campaign that's actually not profitable. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're loading up Hyrus and you have everything all set up, again, the setup and basic use is covered by the earlier part of this course and on our doc site. When you go through here, you wanna look for these reds, the reported versus revenue. And again, if that's not showing up for some reason in your account, you can quickly go up to configure the columns and set this uh, report versus revenue to show up. You stop doing this right here. You turn off the campaigns that are losing you money. That's an easy five to 10% save right away. So just be very aware of that. Look where Facebook is reporting a lot of sales that aren't actually coming in. Okay. Now, the next place you're going to really run into trouble is guessing. Um, and so this isn't the best example in this account because it, this is an e-commerce example right here. So we're seeing a lot of the sales uh, already being caught because there's so many of them coming in. But when you have a funnel that has a long sale or click to sale time, what is consistently going to happen is let's say you have a webinar funnel or a sales call funnel where a person clicks and buys a few days later. A lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to see simply that you're not seeing the sales coming in. So this leads to guessing. 
And so what's very important to do is just make sure once you are plugged in the high risk that you're seeing all the correct sales. You're going to see all the correct sales in your business all the time. So for example, here's a perfect example right here. This ad campaign right here, uh, Facebook reported no sales. Okay, it reported no sales where it actually did $181 in, in revenue. What will happen a lot of times when you have a long click uh, to sale time is you're going to see people guessing on their ads. They're gonna see a bunch of sales coming in. They're gonna say, wow, we, we spent 5,000 yesterday. We did $10,000 in sales. We don't wanna turn off any ads because we don't know where the sales are coming from. If you have a business where you do this, watch out for that. That's all, that's all you need to do. Just watch out for it because what you're gonna do is you're gonna guess. When you guess, you spend ad spend inefficiently. The proper responses in both these scenarios that I've described is very simple. Adjust your ad spend accordingly. So for example, if we have this ad campaign up here where it's losing money, well, that doesn't mean this ad campaign is something you should turn off. This one's almost breaking even. We could just lower the ad spend uh, for the past 14 days, which is what we're looking at right here down maybe $2,000. We could cut the ad spend in half and then suddenly it's profitable again. Now we're making money again. Okay. If we're guessing, look at the campaigns that we were guessing on. Look at the campaigns that are just straight up losing money. Turn them off. Turn them off. That's it. That simple situation right there. You did those two steps. You're going to save 10 to 15%, 20% on your ad spend right away. Now, next thing I really want to look at right here is crisscrossing. So where crisscrossing occurs at a lot of times in ad accounts is going to be from Google and Facebook taking credit for organic sales or Google and Facebook taking credit for each other. What you're gonna see a lot of times, a lot of times is Facebook giving itself credit for maybe search ads or YouTube ads. So a person clicks a Facebook ad, but then they click a Google ad and the ad sale actually came from a Google ad or they skim past a Facebook ad. You must be aware of this. They skim past a Facebook ad and Facebook gives itself a view through conversion, AKA it gives itself the, uh, the credit for the sale, even though nobody clicked the ad, it's going to do that a lot. And so what do you want to do here about this? Well, a lot of times this is going to be detected on the top value just by the reported versus revenue, All right? You can see right here, for example, a lot of people were probably searching for this product right here and Google gave itself all the sales when a lot of these sales probably came from, uh, Facebook in this situation right here, or organic, or organic sources. It probably gave itself a view through conversion right here. So what you want to look for and just be aware of what's going to happen in your account is you're going to see them giving themselves credit they don't actually deserve. And you just need to be aware this exists because if you're running an e-commerce store, an info business or anything that has a lot of organic traffic, the, the platforms don't talk to each other. They don't, they're not going to talk to each other and give each other credit or, or, or remove credit from themselves. They're just not going to. They don't talk. Google and Facebook and uh, all the other platforms are not in good terms. They're not going to talk to each other. So you want to watch out for this big time because if we go look at some of these sales right here, let's go look at them. You can see a lot of people go and click multiple ads. Okay, we're just looking at this sale right here. This person went through, clicked the ad, then did an organic search, then did another organic search up here. And what's going to happen is a lot of times these clicks aren't all going to line up with each other. You have to be aware that the clicks... Well, they won't, Google and Facebook won't always attribute them to the same person. So the tracking that Google's reporting on could have been from starting right here. It could have been starting from right here. So it's going to give you a lot of really incorrect attribution where you spend money, not on the ad that's actually generating the sale. Okay. So for example, this ad right here will take credit for this Google sale that happened all the way down here, this organic sale. And so it will take credit for organic sales when it had nothing to do with it. Maybe this is a person that came back and looked at this product. Okay. And so that's something you need to be hyper aware of. That's probably going to happen in your account and you need to be looking for actively when you do this. Look for crisscrossing sales where they're taking credit for each other. Now, once you accept that this is a problem, all you really need to do is look at the report versus revenue and then operate based on that. Okay. If a Google campaign is not generating you a ton of sales, you can operate basically based on that. Now I'll be getting in the filters and other things and advanced ways you can look at this, but really just using these basic rules that I laid out here and looking for these three things in your account is going to just increase your ad ROI significantly because you can turn off a lot of ads. You just don't need to be running and you can stop spending on ads uh, or doing any guesswork with your advertising. Okay. So I just wanted to break this video down for you right here. And those are the three things you need to look for in your ad account. You do that, you're going to have a good time.
Okay, so in the next few videos, I'm going to get into call funnels, particularly places where people get wasteful in that and also where people get wasteful in their e-commerce stores. And then we'll move on to more advanced stuff in the next sections.